The search for Thanos' missing head continues. Wolverine is back and he's everywhere. And there's a powerful alien who thinks he's just a normal dude from Midwest. All of this coming up. What's up YouTube? It's Asiatic for Ill Philly TV and it's another comic book Wednesday. These are my books for 20th of February 2019. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers who's been supporting my channel and watching my videos since day one. I really appreciate you guys. And if you are in Instagram or different social media, please add me there as I always post different information regarding comics. So if you like that kind of stuff, please follow me in Instagram too. Okay, let's start with my pick of the week, which is high level issue number one. This is from DC Vertigo Comics. This is a very solid first issue, guys. It's about a girl called 13. She's an arrogant streetwise chick who's been asked to smuggle a little girl who's apparently the savior of humanity. She has to smuggle her through thousands of miles of religious cult, mutant tribes, war zone, sunken cities, and cybernetic mafias. The art and story is amazing. It kind of reminds me of Alita in some aspect. But nonetheless, it's amazing. This is the Matina cover. Uh, regular price. I also have the main cover. Um, got a couple of Matina. Matina is just amazing. I know there's a plagiarism issue that he's involved with. But if he does you know, what he's supposed to do, he's a very talented dude. And that's high level number one. Next up, it's Stronghold number one. This is by Aftershock Comics. It's about a guy called Michael Gray who thinks he's just an ordinary Joe, but actually he's an alien with incalculable powers. It's a great concept, good book, and this one is, I will follow it very closely to see where it goes. Also have the one in 10 covers. Got a few of them actually. So that's Stronghold number one. Next up, a bit of cover grab. Barbarella and Deja Torres number two. I also have the first issue and I thought the art, the cover art is sexy. So I continue to pick this up just for the covers alone. Next up, Conspiracy. Denver Airport. This is issue number three dealing about the mysteries of the Denver Airport. The first one was good. The second one was also good. So I continue to pick this up and I'm on number three now. That's also a hard book to get, hard to find. Redlands issue number one. I just saw that sitting on my local comic book shop so cover fries who knows this is a great book and it might turn into a film because at the moment horror is really a big up and coming when it comes to comic books and they have been doing well on films as well and another first issue that I've grabbed is Killmonger number one. I know the issue, the story is nearly finished. I have all the issues but I didn't have the normal cover. I thought this is an amazing, amazing story of Killmonger and Brian Hill really did this book justice. I think Brian Hill is one of my favorite writers at the moment. I say I think because there's so many as well, but you know, this book, it's really hit me and you know, I'm really enjoying the series and I don't want it to finish. I know it's just a mini series. I think it's only five or six. We're nearly into the conclusion, but if you guys haven't been reading Killmonger, I highly suggest you guys go grab it before it goes big. Next up, another 
small production in the Valiant Universe, Incursion number one. I only heard good things about this. It's written by Andy Diggle and Alex Pacnadel is the same guy who wrote Friendo from Vault Comics. If you guys like that book, if you enjoy his writing style, then you will like Incursion. Next up, Bitter Root number four is about a family who are monster hunters. And it's been good so far. This book is by Image. And I've been continue getting that because I've been enjoying it. Naomi number two, Brian Michael Bendis book by Wonder Comics. If you like the first issue, I think you will enjoy the second one continues to be a good book as well. Mark Miller, Sharky, The Bounty Hunter. As you guys know, Mark Miller is tied with Netflix and he's been doing a lot of comic books for them. And apparently this one is already in production. So if you guys are into Mark Miller, if, if it's similar to Prodigy or uh, Magic Order, this should do well. But it's only about this Bounty Hunter. I'm not sure how far he can go with that one. But check it out if you are interested. This book, Middle West, it continues to amaze me. I think this is Scotty Young's best work so far. I, I know that he's doing Deadpool as well, but i really been enjoying this series. It's light-hearted, fun. It's, you know, it brings back that teenage years and that young adult kind of vibe and middle west brings that and it's an amazing book art as well it's really good i know not a lot of people are um a big fan when um scotty young does those little kiddie art covers but storytelling wise this one is really good talking about brian hill that's why i said to you guys i think he's one of my favorite writers at the moment is because also with this book, American Carnage. American Carnage continues to be accelerating book for me. Every issue that I pick up, I want to read it straight away. There's loads of action. There's drama on it. There's a lot of things going on in this book. If you like that kind of action film, kind of like American History X, style um a private detective um undercover story this is your book sukeban turbo number three this is idw this is also amazing it's a bunch of those teenage gang it's similar to like a japanese gang you know they ride around breaking stuff and um dealing drugs and stuff like that it's really an amazing amazing read so this one i don't see a lot of people talking about this one i think it's very underrated it's not a superhero book it's it's more kind of grounded and uh, reality based but it's an amazing so far okay talking about amazing aquaman number 45 it's been amazing so far you know this is the first full appearance of the mother of dead nama god nama god she might be a big antagonist major player so if you guys like first appearances check aquaman number 45 it's also i think the second story arc um second um, issue of the story arc and so far it's been really great um, yeah, if you haven't been following Aquaman, highly suggest you guys, especially begin with this story arc. You know, it's amazing. Okay. Venom number three. I know Venom has been great uh, series along with Immortal Hope. And this is actually the first appearance of Null, the symbiote god. This is actually, believe it or not, the fourth printing the first printing is similar but with color but this is a black and white version 
Donny Cates has been amazing so far with this run and I continue to pick this up. I didn't pick up the first printing because I missed out on it but I thought grabbing the fourth printing is also good. By the way guys, if you are a collector and you are into like first appearances, big events or like key moments, it doesn't matter if you pick up the second printing, third printing or fourth printing. As long as you have the comics, as long as you're not planning to like sell it. I know a lot of people are into like, oh, it's only first printing. But it doesn't matter really. Loads of second printings are popping up and going big. You know, investment-wise if you are thinking of investing your comics. So even like fourth printing like this, imagine, um, remember Gwen Stacy's um, uh, first appearance. Um, that fourth printing. It's, you know, popping up because they are low print run and there's, you know, they're hard to find. Not a lot of people, you know, take a second look on them. That's why they're also cheap. So I highly suggest you guys get them. These are just sitting on my comic shop. Can you believe that? There's actually, there's about six more um, there, but I only picked up two, you know. And not some of them are already have like they're not as good copy as I thought. I I I always try to select the best copy, especially if you if I'm thinking of grading them um, in the future. But you know, so far these ones are the ones the decent ones that I've seen there, and I left the rest. But this number nine of Immortal Hulk is. The first appearance of the second Absorbing Man, um, Carl Creel, if I'm not mistaken. So this is also a hell of a book. If you guys haven't been reading that one, I don't know what you guys are doing. But Immortal Hulk, there's a lot of tie-ins on that one. Keep an eye on that one. It's a hot book. Not a lot of people... You know, this probably just realizing it now how good it is. It's similar to me. I kind of like caught on on the bandwagon like when it was like three or four issues in, and then even that I was not even sure straight away if I'm gonna continue it or not. But what I did is like I read also the first um volume in trade, and that's when I kind of like really got sucked in and start you know, reading it issue to issue. And uh, now I start picking up um, the single issues. So Immortal Hulk, number nine. Um, Uncanny X-Men number 12 just came out this week, but I thought I showed you the number 10, which I picked up on my local um, comic book shop as well. These are very hot at the moment. I also, I already have two of them before. But I picked up another two. They were just sitting there. And that's one of the most gorgeous Wolverine cover that I've seen in a while. Normally, he's either very angry, showing his teeth, or like want to kill someone. This is just him looking very badass. You know, I like that. I like that cover. Okay, Age of X-Man. The Amazing Night. Crawler, if you guys seen, there's, I don't know if they're one shot, but there's, every week they've been releasing Age of X-Men, Marvelous X-Men, um, Alpha, and this are, is the latest one, which deals with Nightcrawler being a celebrity. And this issue, I haven't read it yet, so as the other ones, but I've continued to pick them up. These are kind of like tie-in with um, Uncanny X-Men as well. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see what where it goes, but I haven't read it so far. True Believers, you, as you guys know, Captain Marvel is releasing a new film. That's why they're pumping up all these new Believers. And so as this one, Captain Believer, um, sorry, True Believers number one, Captain Marvel. This is the first appearance of Binary. She will probably be also in the movie and her cat as well if you guys um seen there's a new trailer that um marvel released and the cat 
her cat is there and that's a big book next up avengers number 15 blade is all already part of the avengers and this is a great book guys if you haven't been reading that one it's an amazing amazing issue i also have the variant cover this is actually one of my favorite covers but the thing about this one is like that's why i didn't choose it as my number one cover because i really like the matina cover i think that's the matina cover that's one of the best ones that he did for a long time you know i'm a big fan of him this is actually also good but it's kind of like doesn't relate to the storyline of the avengers you know it's just like a captain marvel variant because she's having a movie normally i don't like that i don't like variants that doesn't have to do anything with the actual book but i know in a way it ties up because captain marvel she's an avenger so it's kind of like tied up but nothing more so than the matina cover is much better in my opinion and i don't know guys let me know what you think if you think captain marvel should be the the cover of the week or the high level one next up guardians of the galaxy this is donny kate's issue number two it continues to be a good good book like i said in the beginning Thanos head is missing Hela is looking for it and the search continues it's very interesting book and there is a first appearance here apparently the Dark Avengers it's the first appearance of the Dark Avengers so it's involved um, um, Gamora's sister and a few other um, superheroes I forgot to name them but I'm I'm probably gonna do a separate video for that because the solicitation or the um, key collectors if you guys are following on the app it says there's no key events that happen but actually there is you know everyone make mistake but check out Guardians of the Galaxy issue number two and another big book similar to the No Surrender Avengers No Road Home. This is also a key book. As you can see, these are new appearances of um, Nix's family, the Goddess of Night, um, Hypnos. Um, there's a few of them actually. If you guys are following me on um, Instagram, um, I said it on Instagram there. There's at the end of the at the end page. Of this comic they kind of like summarize the family so the names are there um, I really forgot the names I'm sorry guys but um, these are the family of um, Nix or Nox and they've been battling the Avengers here and it's been a good book so far I also have the connecting cover and this is more likely that in the second book deals with Clint Barton which is the Hawkeye and as we all know he shot Hulk or Bruce Banner in the head with an um, vibranium um, steel arrows and um, you know in this um, comic they have this kind of like banter in a way that you know he's the one who killed him and he was telling um, him, uh, Hulk was telling um, Hope I, you shouldn't be alone with me because I will take my revenge for you killing Bruce Banner. And then on this one, at the end, they were alone together. So we don't know what's going to happen. It's, um, it's going to be intense. Next up, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, number three. This continues to be a good book. Um, with especially with the um, success of Miles Morales Spider Verse, you know, a lot of people are jumping on that one. Plus, Saladin Ahmed 
is been good with this book you know there's a few books that he's doing that are coming out so watch out for that one um i think it's miss marvel miss marvel is coming up um on march so there's quite a few books that are coming in march that are very interesting so if you guys are a fan of um saladin ahmed you know check miles morales out okay Hulk Berins. This is funny. This is just a silly book, you know, by Greg Pak. Um, he's the one who done most of this stuff, actually. So if you guys know, there are more, most of them are experiments, right? Like, um, especially um, Weapon Age. So in March, apparently Weapon Age will be part of the Avengers. But for now, they've just been fighting. Um, it's just, you know, maybe see who's the strongest. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, but it's only a three part mini series. So I check up the first one, see how it is, but don't take this book seriously. I think it's just a fun, fun layout book. Uncanny X-Men number 12. This is still dealing with Cyclops and Wolverine and, um, they think that all the X-Men are dead. So they're building um, X-Men from the ground up. It's just the two classic um, teammates. And it's been amazing. Like I said, you know, Wolverine is just everywhere. If you notice the books that I've shown you, Wolverine is there. Everywhere. He is everywhere. It's comics, man. No one stays dead. You get me? And just to prove my point another wolverine book this is wolverine infinity watch number one this is the variant cover it's written by jerry duggan this is dealing with the um, infinity stone so if you want to be on the loop with that check this out but this issue is just setting up the story on what's to come there's also a cosmic version of wolverine in this book that's why I told you guys, it's everywhere. You know, he did the Return of Wolverine. The f uh, issue number five also came this week, same time as this. So the, this, this is the continuation, basically. But if you guys haven't been reading Return of Wolverine 1 to 5, you didn't miss, you didn't miss much because, you know, it's, it's, it's rubbish. I didn't enjoy the artwork i didn't enjoy the story i had the variant covers because i told you guys wolverine is my man you know that's the reason i got that one but if you guys didn't read one to five you can jump on straight to this no problem infinity watch wolverine <laughs> another wolverine okay if you guys have been following my videos there's a video that i talked about the war of the realms which is coming in two months time there's gonna be a big tie-in with from unbeatable squirrel girl to thor avengers x-men there's a lot of tie-ins on that book it's gonna be a big event that jason aaron has been setting up and if you guys been following thor this is cinder the queen of Musselheim. I don't know if I said it right. Musselheim. Mus no, Muspelheim. I think that's the one. Because um, i also been reading this one. But, you know, I forget the the wordings and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's Mus Muspelheim. Correct me, guys, if I'm wrong. But this is Cinder. She will be a big part. She'll be the big antagonist or big villain in the warm of the realms. So this is, this book is her first appearance. This is still going for cheap, guys. If you are a collector and like to collect first appearances of villain superheroes, check this out. The Mighty Thor number 22. This cover is by Russell Dauterman. This is a great cover. And if you're into Thor, it's an amazing book. Okay, a few more books left. The Black Order. Number four, this is dealing with the origins of Black Swan and also a big, no, I don't know if it's a big fight, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a battle between Nova and Black Swan and also her origin, this cover is by In Hyuk Lee, it's 
it's only a five issue mini series and it's it it's it's kept me buying it because I'm interested with all the minions. They're not you know, if you guys watch Avengers um uh, where um the Black Order evolve, um those these are basically the foot soldiers of Thanos and they they have amazing powers, you know, and I'm I'm really interested and really wanna get to know more of this villains, this character. And um yeah, this this Black Order is about them. So if you want to know more about Black Order, this book is a five issue mini series and it's nearly in an end and it's been amazing so far. A few more books left. This is Doctor Strange number 11. This is Mark Wade, sim another guy half writer of the Avengers. Number 10, he was dealing with Phoeniculus. That's a new villain that appeared on issue number 10 it, and it continues on number 11. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my daughter at the back. She's watching uh, a video. Um, yes, last book, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. This is number three. Um, it's been a good book in my opinion so far if you guys have told you if you guys been watching my video amazing spider-man i'm not happy with it even though i know spider-man it, it's it's a flagship um superhero is one of the big superheroes and um amazing spider-man man it's, it's it's not cutting it for me at the moment and I told you they've been teasing us with Craven the Hunter maybe coming on um the next issue to be a villain again, like um to be a major um story arc on number fifteen. But if you guys are not enjoying Amazing Spider Man, there's also Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man. It's on only on number three, so it's good to catch up. This is more a ground based Spider Man. That's why it says Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man. It deals with the neighborhoods, deals with like a day to day life, more grounded, earth based Spider Man. And I think it's really good. There's also another one which is the auto version, you know, um, Superior Spider Man. That's more kind of like cosmic and dealing with like you know the outside space if you like that check that out if you're not happy with the spider-man that is uh, amazing spider-man at the moment but this one certainly got my spider-man fixed for this one and the auto octavius one so those are my books for this week i hope you guys enjoyed that one and i see you next week this is asiatic thanks for watching Peace, guys. Peace.